Sarah Ferguson suffered as a result of her mother Susan Barante's shock departure and was left to look after her father and sister, according to royal expert Juliet Friedan. The Duchess of York has previously blamed her parents for her fragile emotional state, which royal experts said impacted much of her adult life. Ms. Reedon, author of The Royals in Australia, explained, her mother left them and literally walked out with a polo player and she was left to be raised by her father who was devastated that his wife walked out. In many ways, Sarah had to look after her father. It was a very rackety upbringing. She suffered a lot from the loss of her mother. Hosting the Windsor's podcast with the royal experts, Nine News's Carrie Elstub said the 59-year-old former royal's unhappy childhood haunted her in her adult life. Fergie has said the trauma prompted her to turn to compulsive eating to try to find a fix for the hole in my heart. Despite the tumultuous upbringing, Fergie has previously said her 1986 marriage to Prince Andrew was the best thing I ever did. But royal commentator Victoria Arbiter said the Duchess's zest for life, which was what attracted Prince Andrew to her, also was the cause of her public downfall. Ms. Arbiter said, I think he was utterly charmed by her. She was like nothing the royal family had ever seen before. Virgie was funny and boisterous and brash, and she approached life with such a zest for life and enthusiasm. And that, in the beginning, was utterly charming. Of course, it led to her downfall. In a TV interview with US show Modern Hero, Sarah Ferguson discussed how she was affected when her mother Susan left her father Ron to live with polo player Hector Barantes in Argentina. Virgie said, suddenly she'd gone and she never came back and I never saw her again really. I built a huge wall to the real Sarah. And I believed it's because I was worthless. Why would you leave your child? You wouldn't, 